Dead Cat in a Market Misery. The end of October, Dead Cat Bounce was in full swing. In a rise for the ages, returns for stocks in the S&P 500 cracked the all-time 20 all-time best months. The table you're looking at is the top 20 best performing months of the S&P 500 since 1985 and their subsequent returns. Over a shorter time period, returns are more volatile and less consistent. But if you look at the six plus months category, the gains are large and frequent. So if history rhymes, we're likely looking at three to six months of volatility before there's any light at the end of the tunnel. Is this market misery finished? The misery index is an indicator that has been used by investors for decades to gauge when the economy is in trouble. It was created by economist Arthur Oaken, who served as a special assistant to President Lyndon B. Johnson in the 1960s. The misery index is an index created by using the monthly inflation rate plus the unemployment rate. Highs are seen of increased misery caused by high inflation and or high unemployment. In other words, when the indicator is high, that signals trouble. And when it's low, it's the opposite. And the indicators approaching levels last seen at the peak of the pandemic and the depths of the global financial crisis where we highlighted it there for you. But thus far, we haven't seen widespread capitulation. This misery index that you're looking at could very well exceed the global financial crisis panic. And you must prepare for it. The Fed at the time had the tools to be able to flood the market with money, known as QE. And then look at COVID. It had the sharpest misery index and it was a real anomaly. But this one is very different. It's going to be a long haul recession. What worked in COVID in the markets will not work in this market. So how do you position yourself? Sure, you look at these indicators. And I think we're in a recession, even though no media is talking about it. But what do you do? Recession survival key, cost of capital. The absolute key to succeeding in a recessionary market is one phrase, cost of capital. If the company you are invested in needs to go raise money in a very recessionary market, that cost of capital is going to be very high. So unless the returns are significantly worth that dilution, you move forward. But most of the time, it's not. Avoid those companies. The companies I want to own are the biggest in the world with the best balance sheets in their specific sector. And here's the best part. If you really pay attention to the financial details of the contracts, you can see that for many of these reasons, their contracts are linked to the inflationary markets. So whether it's a recession or inflation or a stagflation or a crossflation, these companies will continue to make cash for you. When we're at work, they're making us money. When we go to bed, they're making us money. That's what it's all about. Deflation station. One thing investors and the general public are missing is that there is massive deflation going on in commodities right now. Gold is down 16% from its 22 highs. Copper's down over 29%. Oil down a third. And even the once famous viral meme commodity lumber is down a significant 66% from its highs earlier in the year. That's the chart you're looking at right now. The plunge in commodities is going to have a ripple effect on the economy in the months ahead. And it's already wrecking additional havoc on many small cap mining stocks that are driving on autopilot headfirst into brick walls or off cliffs. It's total carnage in the small cap resource world, where the market caps of former investor darlings were at market caps in the hundreds of millions, and now 97% or lower, trading for pennies and not on the dollar. This is where the cost of capital comes in. Unless terms are huge in my favor, I don't care. The cost of my capital is high. So before you fall for the next sexy stock in a foreign land, you want to know exactly what you're getting into. You're getting in bed with that local and national government, and you better know what their intentions are. The world's currency connection. The US dollar is still the primary currency in the world, and it's going to stay that way for a while. But if you're in an emerging market like Chile, Peru, or Latin America, or you're in the emerging markets in Africa, as the US dollar gets stronger, your economy becomes starved more and more. Because you're devaluating currency, everything becomes more expensive for you. So of course, the governments are going to prevent these foreign companies, especially American ones, remember, revenge is sweet for them, from coming in and extracting the value of their nation. They're going to increase taxes, they're going to increase the royalties, they're going to deny permits, they're going to full out confiscate assets. If your favorite mining stock has a significant production, what I call negative swap line nations, 
it could be at serious risk. And please check out this link. What you're looking at right now is a list of countries where the US Federal Reserve swap lines exist. Think of them as lifelines by the US Federal Reserve. There's 14 nations. Is it just coincidence that these are good standing allies of the US? Of course not. There are safer countries. Anything else doesn't have an American government lifeline, i.e. US dollars on demand. It's the most important currency for a reason, and investors need to forget the dollar demise articles. You want to be positioned to companies that are going to pay you to own them in US dollars, not a devaluating currency. These are the companies I want to own and I do own personally with my money, with more on my radar that I want to own. I'm preparing my portfolio for a panic and a recession. If you can see exactly how I'm positioning my money in the resource markets through my premium research service, the KRO, things are definitely going to get interesting. Stay safe. Subscribe to the KRO, which is a Katusa Resource Opportunities, to find out exactly what prices I'm buying at and what price I sell at before the trade occurs. And you get to sell before I do. If you want to give your portfolio an edge, consider becoming a member and giving it a try for yourself.